You know, you often hear it said that people are looking for that, well, that perfect church. Like, I wish we could go back to what it was like in the early church days. Well, what's interesting, when you open the Bible, you find that the early church days look a lot like the days of the church today. There were still people, and, and if you have people, you have problems, you have amazing wins, you have challenges, you have God moving in such powerful ways, and also even corrective ways. You see, here in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, Paul is talking to this church that is starting to identify not so much based upon who they are in Christ, but who they follow. They're starting to get their identity by, well, I'm of this person, I'm of this camp, I think this way, I identify. Let me read it to you if I can. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, Paul writes, Aren't you living like the people of the world? When one of you says, I'm a follower of Paul, and another says, I follow Apollos. Aren't you acting just like people of the world? After all, who is Apollos? Who is Paul? We are only God's servants through whom you believed the good news. Each of us did the work the Lord gave us. See, I love this. As Christians, we identify as those as who have been changed by Christ, by Jesus. He's where we get our identity. Not what political party we're a part of, not if we eat organic or raw organic or we eat McDonald's. All those different things about who we are, how we identify physically or emotionally or relationally. See, what's most important is how we identify spiritually. You see, we're Christians. We're identified by what Jesus has done and who Jesus is to us. It's not about following this trend or that teacher or that specific ideology, but simply about having your identity in Jesus. So let me encourage you with this this morning. Know that if you're a Christian, if your faith is simply in the finished work of Jesus Christ, that he is your identity. You don't have to look to any other place or any other person to find out who you are. Look to Jesus, for he is the place where you will find your true identity.